it's Mara Gamble from Our Permaculture Life. Did you know that every single part of a sunflower is edible or usable in some way? So sunflower um, from the Helianthus family, there's many different sorts. There's dwarf ones, there's tall ones, there's colourful ones. I think there's well over 70 different types. But they are such a beautiful thing to add into to a summer garden for many different reasons. So the symbolism of the sunflower is actually around joy and longevity and it's really a beautiful plant to have in a summer garden. It brings just so much life and colour and wildlife too. Just before I was noticing some bees hanging around this particular one and the massive one up above me here um, has started to have the king parrots coming in and, and starting to eat that one. But all of it is edible. Oh, I can even see a little native bee on this one right now. So, so these petals, um, these petals can be used as, um, as a tea or in a salad. Um, the, the young leaves are also edible and so you can use those as a spinach alternative. You can, if you find some nice um, soft younger ones, use them as a, as a raw green as well. It's absolutely fine to eat. Um, of course, the seeds are edible and even when the buds of the flowers are young, you can use them and make, you know, like an, like an artichoke. Uh, so, so that's all edible. Now, of course, when the seeds are small, you can sprout them and eat them like that or and also as a high protein snack to just the seeds themselves or use that in any type of cooking. Um, I like to grind it up and, and use it in smoothies or sprinkle it onto cereals or all different sorts of things. And of course you can make oil out of the sunflower seeds too. Um, I have actually seen some people extracting the oil, making the oil and then using the, the old stems, burning those to make potash and therefore mixing the two and making soap entirely out of, of, um, of sunflower. So thinking about the stalk, I mean, it's a really huge part of the sunflower plant, particularly once the head, once you've sort of taken the, the head off, um, what do you do with the, with the stem? Well, there's so many different sorts of things. You can either just add it back down into, the, into your um, garden as organic matter. You can add it into the compost. You can shred it and actually use the fiber to make things like paper. Um, and even fabrics are being used out of that. Or you can keep the stem whole, dry it and use it as a stake in the garden or make a teepee trellis for, for beans from that. Um, so there's so, so many different uses for the sunflower. Now, the thing is, once it's finished, once you've taken the head off, um, hello bee, um, you, you actually don't need to rip it out of the ground. You can simply slice it off down nice and low leave the roots in the ground. Now one or two things are going to happen depending on what your season is or what type of plant you've got. Either that will rot back down into the ground which will add fantastic organic matter into the soil and food for, for the living soil or when it comes it will keep sprouting again while the season is still warm and so you'll get new sprouts which you can either eat the leaves or allow them to come up and have new little flowers as well. So you can and I only learnt this recently, you can actually take a segment of the stem and replant that and get another plant as well. So normally we plant sunflowers by seed and that's best popped straight into the garden. Sometimes it's good to put a pot on top because these are also seeds that birds like to eat and they will find them in your garden. And so either by seed, by cutting or by a stem shoot. So, so much about a sunflower that we can use and, and make fantastic um, products in our garden, um, as well as being great for habitat, great for the insects and great for the soil. So make sure next summer that you include sunflowers in your garden. It's an absolutely fantastic plant to have and so colourful too.